Hello and welcome to today's session. We're going to be introducing Unit 2, Cancer is an Individualised Disease, part of the University of Manchester's uh, part-time online Masters in Transformative Oncology. I'm Hazel and I'm a course advisor here at the University of Manchester and my role is to help make the decision-making process about choosing a course with us as straightforward as possible. If you've got any questions after today's session, then my contact details will be up at the end on the final slide for you to get in contact. And I'm going to now hand over to Professor David Wedge, who is the unit lead for Cancer is an Individualised Disease, to introduce himself and start talking about it in more detail. Uh, hello and welcome to this Spotlight on Transformative Oncology Unit 2. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm uh, the unit lead uh, of this unit. My name is, is uh, David Wedge um, and um, part of the, the teaching team for this unit are um, uh, Maria Jacobs Dottier, Avram Topinos and Jamie Weaver. Um, so the Transformative Oncology um, course is a part-time online training programme taught by the University of Manchester uh, and I'm going to talk to you about the uh, one particular unit as part of the course, the Unit 2, um, which is called uh, Cancer is an Individualised Disease. So what is transformative oncology? Um, the course um, we hope will help you to better understand the underlying biology of cancer and the diversity of tumours and patients through multidisciplinary innovative approaches. Um, we will help you to adopt a holistic approach to develop personalised strategies for cancer treatment. Um, focusing now on unit two, um, um, I'll tell you what this unit covers, um, what skills you will learn, um, what makes this unit unique, um, and hopefully help you to decide um, whether this unit is for you. Um, the, the course content of unit two um, is overall the aim is, is um, is to, is to tell you about uh, cancer as an individualized disease. Um, this is made up of three um, components, um, the impact of genetic diversity, molecular and lifestyle variability, complications of comorbidity, um, and there's also uh, an assessment um, element of the, of the unit. Um, the transformative oncology course as a whole um, is composed of eight units. Um, and um, the unit that I'll be talking about today is unit two, cancer is an individualized disease. And you can see here how it fits into the, into the course as a whole. Cancer is an, as, is an individualized disease and will help you to appreciate the uniqueness of each tumor and of each patient with cancer by gaining an understanding of how underlying health, genetics and lifestyle choices contribute to individual cancer cases. Um, and this unit is a 15 credit unit. And within this overall aim, um, we can break it down into a number of sub aims or objectives, which are to appreciate the underlying complexity of the human genome and how it can contribute to increased risk of developing certain cancers, to consider how genetics might impact on treatment success, to critique the current methodologies used in genomic medicine, to learn how underlying molecular characteristics can impact on treatment success, um, and will provide an introduction to using real world data to review patients' characteristics and define treatments. Um, you will explore the influence of lifestyle choices on treatment success and long-term survival, um, you will explore the implications of underlying health issues on choosing the correct cancer therapy. You will investigate how pre-existing conditions can bring additional complications when predicting outcome. And you will explore how organ-specific comorbidities affect management choices. And the structure of, the, of Unit 2 um, is that it's made up of three five credit elements um, delivered over eight weeks. Um, each of the three um, uh, elements um, is delivered over a two week um, uh, um, time span, um, and these cover uh, the impact of genetic diversity, molecular and lifestyle variability, and complications of comorbidity. And the final two weeks of the unit um, are allocated for uh, assessments. Um, the knowledge and understanding uh, that you will gain through this unit are to describe different methodological approaches used to explore genomic medicine. Um, you will learn to explain the relationship between genetic profiling and treatment options. 
um, you will gain an understanding of genetic predisposition to common cancers, and you will gain a broad understanding of comorbidity in cancer patients. The intellectual skills that you will gain are you will learn to evaluate the importance of understanding genetic diversity, to critically appraise the challenges presented by comorbidity, to reflect on the key issues of cancer prevention and lifestyle choices, and you will learn to understand the limitations of current models used in molecular cancer research. Practical skills that you will um, acquire during the course are to plan and execute guided and independent research, to constructively debate current clinical approaches to underlying health, genetic and lifestyle choices, um, to retrieve relevant information from a variety of sources, including library, electronic and online, and to report findings in a concise and structured manner. Transferable skills and personal qualities that you'll gain during the unit are to present findings in a clear and concise way using appropriate media, to constructively deliver feedback to peers, to demonstrate independent thinking and evidence integration to formulate hypothesis and to manage time and show evidence of scheduling tasks in order of importance. Um, assessment. Um, so, so we have a two week block at the end of the, of the unit, which will be solely devoted to um, assessment, but we also um, will be carrying out assessment throughout the, the eight week period. Um, so assessment is composed of three different um, elements. Um, firstly, you will answer a series of multiple choice questions, um, which will uh, um, assess the, the breadth of your knowledge and comprehension um, throughout the unit. Um, these will be carried out um, in an auto automated way um, and online, so you can do this in your own time during the, during the final week um, of the unit. Um, the second element is the, the reflective um, element of, of the assessment. Um, and this is really um, meant to encourage reflective pra practice to facilitate peer-to-peer -peer learning and interaction. Um, and you'll do this through building a portfolio um, to evidence your skills using, um, using a package called uh, PebblePad. And really um, this is intended to promote lifelong learning um, and transferable skills. Um, finally, um, you will submit um, an assignment during the final week of the unit um, either as a, a written assignment, um, an oral um, or, or an audio uh, assignment. And this is really to, to draw on all, all of your, your learning from the whole unit and to demonstrate your ability to apply that knowledge. Um, I'm gonna hand back to, to Hazel. Um, uh, thank you, Hazel. That's no problem at all. Thank you, David, for taking the time to explain a bit more about unit two as well. So for anyone who's been watching today's session and has any further questions about the unit, about the course more generally, um, or would like to discuss their eligibility and um, study the programme or how to apply, then you can get in touch with me for more information. My email address is on screen, studyonline at manchester.ac.uk. And if you send an email to that email address, I'll be um, more than happy to get back to you with some more course information um, as quickly as I possibly can. Um, and if you would prefer as well, I have also put my phone number on screen and you can use that to get in touch with me um, as well. So that really wraps up today's um, session. But as I said, if you do have any further questions or would like any further information, please do get in touch. And thank you as well, David, for taking the time today um, to talk us through unit two in more detail. Goodbye. <laughs>